I say him and I your bless up, rest uh, It's the right perspective, back when I was driving a veteran My mind was on the set up and ease No time for the let up and breeze Young man with a vision, my ammunition was let off and squeeze Talking no Guys, welcome back today, we're at the home office we previously left off, we were training chest and calves. I was supposed to do quads today, but my training split actually changed. So today we're doing full arms and just gonna run you through my pre-workout protocol. Uh, pre, intra and post-workout, I'll make it all before. And then we're gonna head off to the gym and train arms. Don't we get me doing dishes now. <laughs> <laughs> I put a post up so but I <laughs> So we're going to run through the pre, intra and post workout shakes, so there's going to be three shakes and we'll just run through it. Intra workout, 500ml of coconut water with 15 grams of EAAs. With the EAAs. Honestly, what is it, 350 grams in this tub. I would do this in around six days. I don't know anyone who takes more EAAs than me. I'm not proud of it. Intra, post, hydro way. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't really familiar with what this was. Um, I just knew it was a different blend, but the only difference between hydro and like ISO and normal way would be fast acting. That is literally it. This is just faster acting. So obviously after I train, I'll take this. Then the intro. Um, you know what? The other day I said to myself, I want to try something new in terms of an intro workout. Just the only reason why is because you go through phases, well, for me anyway, I miss that feeling of, and hopefully I don't sound too crazy here, but just being off your head. Like, that's a lot of people get a thrill out of, you know, choosing all different pre workouts and they even make pre workout cocktails. For me, I've been taking this pre workout, honestly, for three years solid. There's probably been two to three times where I've tried different pre-workouts and I've regretted it immediately. And the other day it was the same thing. I sort of got stage fright. I was like, <laughs> actually felt guilty for moving away from this. I tried another pre-workout. I have a little bag of samples that um, I get from a nice supplement center. And I have probably like 10 different pre-workouts. And I tried a different one. I took one drink of it and I was just like, no, I can't do it. So the main thing with pre-workout is that Sometimes you can always think the grass is greener on the other end, but just ask yourself if it's working, then there's no need to change it. With this, it doesn't get you off your head. The only thing that it does for me is mental clarity and focus when I'm training as well as blood flow. And it's not for everyone, but for me, it works perfectly. I'm not endorsing this, by the way. Who's your servant? So I only do a servant and a half. Today, because I'm feeling cheeky. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but every time before I train, I'll squirt this. I've got so many samples. It's Tom Ford Tobacco Oud Intense. Um, I don't know, I just have this association that when I look at Tobacco Oud Intense and I smell it when I'm training, I have PBs. It's weird, I've been doing it for years and I'll just continue to do it. I did, um, I tried this out. It was Ombre Nomad by Louis Vuitton. Um, I like my fragrances, so. That was good, but this here, this is like my third ball. And uh, yeah, just sort of let you know that. <laughs> Today is gonna be a lot of cluster sets, a lot of dropping 30%, a lot of ISO holds. And because it's my first time, you know, doing this rotation, it's actually called, check it out, it's called SST. I've never heard of it before. It's Patrick Tour, my coach, my coach. Um, it's his signature training. So there's going to be a lot of cluster sets. Um, he describes it as it's just density training. Um, so yeah, you want to check that out. I haven't done it yet, so we're in for a treat, as usual. It's only me and someone else. 
So we're doing a cluster set. We're doing five reps four times with 15 seconds in between three rounds. We're just about to do one big ascending and descending pyramid. So we're going to start off 8 to 10 reps and then we're going to take 45 seconds rest, max reps, 30 seconds rest, max reps, 15 max reps, 5 seconds, do 3 to 4 partials and then we're going to climb our way back up so it'll be 15, 30, 45 again, max reps. One big long extended set, actually, I actually haven't done this yet but you're probably best doing it with a machine, something that has a lot of stability around you because if you were to do it free weight, it's just gonna be a little bit more inconvenient if you think about ergonomics. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I mean, if you are willing to give this a go, I don't know, it's up to you. But how do you choose a weight for all them rep ranges? Pretty much you just choose a weight that you can lift for 10 reps and you stay with it throughout all them rest periods. <laughs> Turning dreams into reality In the lab with the formula in chemistry Your memories spark and motivate And make the industry shake You put the balls in the place I'm talking one One chance at best, yes Painting pictures for the culture Keep the brushes fresh Flip the cover, work the drum A passion never rests Freedom is our teacher Under pressure, now we bless See I was so close for the glow It's one art, one shot Now the future is yours, go! Yeah! It's one all one shot, now the future is sure, let's go! Going to be doing um, another cluster set, so this time we're going to be doing 10 sets, 5 reps every single time with 15 seconds in between. Sorry, 15 seconds for the first 5 sets, 20 seconds for the second 5 sets. This is extremely challenging. Pick away the same thing, around 6 to 8 reps and just roll with it throughout the entire 10 sets. When you get to the end, it should be nearly impossible to do your last set. Uh, I say him and I are bless up, rest uh, Has the right perspective, back when I was driving a Vectra My mind was on a set up and ease No time for the let up and breeze Young man with a vision, my ammunition was let off and squeezed Talking know about it, so exotic Go to Mala, never hold a product Though we wildin', we was on the island wave Fast forward now today, thank God my mama prayed Looking back and seeing all that God has made With his legacy, daddy showed me the whole entire page The death of me, I will hold it and say Messiah's name Go to fire Guys, when it comes to training biceps, the main thing that you want is with the exercises that you're choosing, it's very important to ensure that, you know, your forearms aren't getting it more than your biceps. So trying to choose things that have a decent path of motion, this goes across the board. Anything that is a straight bar or curling in a sort of like a, a straight line, just to sort of for things to be ideal, it doesn't usually work. So for example, with dumbbells, it's obviously free weight. I tell the dumbbells where to go. Whenever you're training your biceps, you want to get your arm to hinge in the way that it's supposed to. So it's called your body's natural path of motion. So for me, a lot of people think you have to curl your palm to your shoulder. It's just uncomfortable. I actually cut it across my body. So what helps me is thinking about bringing my palm to the middle of my chest through me working with a lot of clients that's generally what i find just actually bringing your two hands in line with your collarbones you could say um, it helps massively so we're going to do a big dirty drop set we're going to do a weight that you can do for eight to ten reps and then straight away you're going to immediately drop 20 to 30 percent and you're going to do a six second negative for as many reps as possible then you're going to drop an additional 30 percent and you're going to take six seconds on the positive for as many reps as possible and then you're going to drop another 30 percent and you're just going to do an isometric hold for as long as you can a little bit of a melt trend to set it up it is my first time doing it but once you work out the equations, then you should be ground. Cody's 
brothers, my guys, know that they fly. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. Cody's brothers, my guys. I mean, it was good. It's nothing that I would personally program. It's a bit mental, a lot of drops and stuff, but I mean, it would help build my son doing it like. <laughs> so, this here is a, it's called the Nine Rapper. Three normal reps, just normal tempo. The second three reps, which will be number three to six, will be a six second concentric. And then the last three will just be normal again. So we're gonna go for three rounds. Three rounds, is that? I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true style trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one. One shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop in the chills, I'm talking Taking over pieces and shares, a ball the sky high, check the movement is here, yeah Yeah, it's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours, go Now that we've finished biceps, we're going to do triceps and it's literally the same principle So, started off biceps, remember the 5x4 cluster set? This is what we're going to do with triceps. It's going to be a little bit tricky with triceps because my elbows are really crumbly. I'm going to put it down to just, you know, poor execution when I started training. But um, same idea with that part of motion thing. I'm going to try and make sure that I'm not choosing exercises that are forcing my elbows into a position that pretty much are just going to compromise the joint health, you could say. So things like, you know, a little bit of a bend on the bar, like an EZ bar, little things like that do play a massive factor. But you'll see when I'm going through my exercise selection that I'll be choosing things that I can actually, you know, move around as opposed to being in like a fixed position. One, one shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop in the chills, I'm talking. Taking over pieces and shares, a ball break sky high, check the movement is here, yeah. Yeah, it's one heart, one shot, now the future is yours, go. I'm turning dreams into reality, in the lab with the formula in chemistry. I've never done that as my first tricep exercise, really noticing the benefits, would recommend for your opener. We're going to go for 8 to 10 reps first set, this is the same thing that we've done on the that bicep um, exercise, actually on the other end of this set. So we're going to do 8 to 10 reps um, and then we're going to go 45 seconds rest, max reps, 30 seconds max reps, basically that ascending, descending pyramid, that's what we're going to do. by five, 10 sets, five reps. From set one to five, we'll take 15 seconds in between, and then from five to 10, we'll take 20 seconds. With the ropes, I've probably spoke about this before, but the bigger you become, your range changes. So if you were to use just one rope, I'm gonna to have to be internally rotated at the shoulders, which is really uncomfortable, and I'll also not be able to bring my arms the whole way back, so I'll not be able to get full locket with just one rope. So that's why I go with two singles, because it gives me more range, and I can actually get my tricep into a shorter position, which is what you want from this exercise. As I said in the last video where I previously left off, I was supposed to do legs today, but I only realized that I was going into my second phase. So I'll do six week phases of training and food. So this was basically just week seven, start of week seven, and the training split changed to, obviously I've done arms today. So the, tr the training split has changed slightly. I'm still doing a bro split. I'm still doing like one muscle group per session. But overall, session was really good, really enjoyed it. There was a lot of, there's a lot more reps per exercise, so a lot more volume, you could say. And as I previously said, it is density training. So overall, really good session. Actually, haven't had a pump like that in a long time. 
With regards to food, I got my food increased. On the last video actually, I had said that I got my food slashed in half, my uh, carbs slashed by 50%. So I got my carbs slashed by 50% and I was absolutely ravenous. It was working out around 3,600 calories and coming out about 300 grams of carbs. So at the minute I'm on like 650 grams of carbs on a training day. My coach basically put the carbs back up by 50%. Then he added in my pre-workout meal, which is 120 grams of banana, 50 grams of cyclic dextrin. And honestly, at the minute, just over 5,000 calories, probably about 5,300. I can't get full, honestly. Like, I don't know if it's the weather. The weather's amazing at the minute, but I just can't get full. I'm doing seven meals a day, 5,300, and I'm feeling good. Guys, hopefully in the next video, we will be in a different location in terms of training. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is something that I've had in the pipeline for a very long time. Something that I've always wanted to do in terms of my training. So hopefully, 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 we, um, we are in a different location because for me you'll be able to see more of my personality if I'm in a different environment and you'll see a different side to help me which will which will be good for some but it'll be bad for others it'll be scary for some people thank you for watching I really appreciate it if you haven't already please do subscribe it helps me massively I hit the notification bell so when I bring out a new video, you are notified. And if there is anything that you want me to cover, if you want to see more about my life, if there's anything that's going to benefit you more in terms of me explaining it, just say, and I would be more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much, as I said, and hopefully see you in the next video.